Ange react to orders from his new wife. Because you don't understand. Oh, I do understand greatly that you're closed and closed. I'm not minded. closed. I'm I not don't wanting appreciate to being told what to do. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Can I for two? Yes, please. Yes, yeah. that's all on me. Thank you. Andy Jordan and Jason Lombard have been engaged for nearly a year, but are yet to set a date. Met him, fell in love instantly. Jason did ask me to marry him last year. He's 100% committed to the relationship, completely. Together, they live with one of Andy's three children, 17-year-old Aisha, and Jason's still getting to grips with being a stepdad. Well, Jason got thrown into it at the deep end, so that's um, <laughs> quite an easy story for him to tell. I, I just easily woke up one day and was told I've got three stepchildren. <laughs> with me and Jason, it's not, all, it's not always been easy because I didn't know, like, who he was or, like, how he was with children sort of thing. Biker. Biker. For Andy, looking after his daughter is his number one priority. My dad does spoil me. Being his only girl, he's like, protect her, spoil her, give her everything she needs. Come on, Aisha, if you want to let you, better go now. Come in. My dad is my taxi. <laughs> he's my taxi. He drives me here, there and everywhere. I love you lots. Can you drive me, please? Like, yeah. But on the domestic front... Jason, Aisha, come along. We've got jobs to do. Everyone does their equal share of the cooking and the cleaning. We all have to pitch in. Everyone has their little jobs. Basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a routine that we've got down pretty well. Two gay men can run a family, live a normal life, and also bring up children. What's this one for? Uh, that's from Antalya, the ladies' place in Antalya last summer. Oh, yes. Brian Senior met his Bulgarian wife, Novena, while playing at a professional European bridge tournament. Brian not only plays, he also teaches and writes bridge books. Everything else has to fit in around the bridge, so it does tend to dominate our lives. I would never say no to bridge. Ciao, ciao. When Brian and Novena are earning a crust competing and teaching bridge, 20-year-old Kirill is left in charge of the childcare of 11-year-old Katia. Katia's a pest. She's extremely demanding if you're really concentrating on something, that can be irritating. And you know what there is for dinner? You can organise yourself. I probably have catch her almost every weekend, which is for about a third or a fourth of the year. A lot of the schedule at home also revolves around bridge. Romance also takes a back seat. Cuddle Novena. Um, I'm rarely allowed the opportunity, which is very sad for me. <laughs> I definitely hug the kids more than I hug Brian, probably because they are little and cuddly, and uh, I mean, they are not little anymore, but... Kirill is not little. <laughs> He's bigger than I am. When she's not playing bridge, Novena is a traditional housewife. Cooking and cleaning, it's mainly me who does everything. The seniors also have other traditional views. We haven't got through because that bloody learner at the front. Political correctness, it's a disaster. Women drivers don't know left from right. I'm not interested at all in gays problems. I do not think they have the right to be parents. They do not have the right to impose to the children to be raised in the same couple family. Andy and Novena are leaving home for two weeks and they've agreed to have no contact with their families during this time. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Bye bye. Bye. I just want them to be open enough to respect the way I live um, and the way I, I do things. Before they meet their new families, Novena and Andy have a chance to explore their new home. Okay, that's nice. All male, seem to me. Okay. It's a picture of a girl, so, and that's a girl's dress or whatever. I don't know. Oh my god! Books, bridge books. Another bridge book, and uh, another one. <laughs> it goes on and on, there's this bridge everywhere. Father and son. If it is the son, like he's older than a teenager. Right? Each wife has left a manual as a guide to the running of their home. 
My name is Andrew Jordan. I'm 41 year old. I'm a gay man and a proud dad of three. I'm not very happy. I don't believe that same-sex couples should have the same rights when it comes to marriage. Uh-oh. Suddenly, like, you bring uh, gay problems into my house and impose them on my 11-year-old one who doesn't have a clue about it. Looking after Katya is easy. We don't make a fuss of her. The basics are making sure that she gets to school, making sure she's fed and watered, and making sure that she has her TV and computer. Well, it sounds like you've got yourself a little pet there. I think it's totally wrong. I I'm just uh, not going on with that. Bridge is our life. Our relationship and childcare come second. They enjoy their bridge more than they do their children, and I, I just don't understand that value. It's a man in. Um, there's a man staying there who's coming. Okay, but the then uh, she's never ever seen such a thing. She will ask why it is, and what do you respond? You have to start talking about sexuality and whatever. I don't think it's going to work, and I don't think it's a good thing for her. You'll never catch me and Brian having a hug and you'd certainly not catch us discussing that side of our relationship. But that's the same in all relationships, isn't it? Well, actually, no. Having calmed down, Navena decides to continue with the swap. Hi there. Hi. Hi I'm Jason. How do you do? That's Navena. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Sorry. How are you, sir? Oh, thank you very you much. Do. How do you do? Okay. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Welcome to the house. Welcome. Thank you. She's probably thinking... Oh my God, where am I? Who are these strange people and who's with my husband? They're absolutely lovely. Absolutely like uh, very sunny people and seem very good hearted people. Shall I put them in some water yes, for please. you? Yes, yes, thank, thank you. you. Hi Brian, I'm Andy. How are you? I'm Brian. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. This is Katya. Katya. Hi Katya, how are you? And this is Kirill. Nice to, nice to meet you. I hope you like flowers. I do like flowers <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> 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 They've got a new wife. Okay. Well, he's the new wife. I'm the new wife. <laughs> You're faking. No, don't think so. Is a boy. Um, okay. This so, was well spotted. Well, yeah, well see, done. She's, she's very intelligent. Oh, yeah, she's good at school. <laughs> Does it matter if I'm a woman? Uh, it looks a bit awkward. For, for, what, for you to get used to, do you think? Or? Yes, that, uh, that a man is supposed to be a wife. So is it not possible for two men to love each other? <laughs> not in that way. Um, oh, okay. We've got some adulation like, here. Yes, I we? think we have, definitely, which is good. I just can't believe it. The man is the wife. I'm sorry, but I never expected this. I don't really know what to say, to be honest. So who's, who's going to be doing the cooking this evening? Is, uh... Well, in theory, it would be you. Navenna and I do have different attitudes on uh, same-gender relationships, and mine is more modern than hers. In Milton Keynes, Jason has dinner under control. For conventional wife Navenna, being cooked for is a revelation. I hardly ever just sit down and do nothing, so it's quite unusual, especially surrounded by cats. <laughs> I was shocked today when I read the manual because my daughter is 11, but she may start asking questions which will involve a subject which had never been discussed with her. Since I can remember, it's always been my dad's gay because it happened when I was very young and I'd been six. We were always told that it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's not conventional, but it's normality to us. Having met them doesn't change my worries about Kat because Kat has a very inquisitive mind. I'm sure she will ask questions. Oh, oh. In my family, there's two men. I'm a dad, and, and there's Jason, he's the, sort of the stepdad. Um, and I show my daughter who lives with us, she has a, a mum and, and another stepdad, so she's got lots of parents looking after her. Mm. What do you think about that? Mm, okay. It's okay, okay? Yeah. Good. I think I'll probably get on well. Mm. And this is going to take me a while to get to the fact that it's a boy coming. 
Oh my gosh. Obviously surprised when you saw a man in the in your house? Yes, naturally. The question is whether you'd be happy if your new mama gets up to get you ready for school in the morning. Okay. If I don't wake up, get a bucket of water. I really don't see why it should make any difference at all. I probably won't flutter my eyelids and flirt with the guy. He's not my type. Too early in the morning. It's gay dad Andy Jordan's first morning as the wife of professional bridge player Brian Senior. While Brian has his usual lie-in, Andy is left in charge of getting 11-year-old Katia off to school. Yeah, just need to get you. Tired. You're tired, are you? Did you not sleep well? Well, usual morning routine, sat in front of the TV, which is, I think he spends most of the time, morning, evening and night. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. When Brian does get up, he spends the rest of the day in his office researching and writing bridge books. So I've shut myself away in here and had peace and actually got on with a bit of work, which is good. Plus, I've watched a bit of cricket and that always cheers me up. Leaving Andy alone to play the good housewife. I feel like I'm on my own, even though Brian is upstairs. I just feel alone. Being on my own during the busy time of the day, his mornings are busy times, it's totally new for me. In Milton Keynes, Jason heads off to work at a health club, leaving Navenna to crack on with her first taxi run of the day, dropping 17-year-old Aisha at college. Sometimes it's easier for me to, like, just have a lift off Dad. Yeah. <laughs> right, Dad, before you go work, will you just, like, drop me off? I would never be doing what your dad <laughs> does for you. Uh, I personally uh, started walking to school at the age of seven. Hi. I don't understand how he's capable of doing it every day. The sooner she gets her own way around town, uh, the better. Brian's also been on the school run, Hello. picking up 11-year-old Katia. Is that a heavy one? Oh, oh yeah. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. With his one chore of the day complete, it's over to Andy. OK, the dirty washing's in the far one in the corner and the left-hand basket's for clean stuff waiting to be ironed. I'm going to go and watch a bit of cricket, I expect. Let the wife do the work. With Brian upstairs watching the sport, Andy oh. breaks from the manual to spend time with Katia. What? Why not? You learned that just today? Mm-hmm. And you're that good at it already? Mm hmm Yeah, just the C and D notes are yeah. a bit hard. Does anybody usually come and listen to you practice? Can rarely. Brian or very, Phil? Very, very rarely. I really enjoyed that I got to play my guitar and in front of Andy because when somebody's listening, it encourages me to play more. And I'm just really happy that he listened. Bridge is definitely taking too much time up in Brian's life. We all have to make sacrifices in some areas of the things we like to do or I'm passionate about. And I feel that those sacrifices are warranted with the family because they are equally as important, sometimes more important. Enter. So this is the inner sanctum of the house then, Brian? It is. This is where it all happens. OK. Yes. So what, what, have, been, what have we achieved today? We have typed three or four pages of work in between times. There's the cricket. Well, I'll be seeing you later on for dinner then. But I'll give you a shout when Story it's, when it's ready. It's Novena's second taxi run of the day collecting Aisha. Hello. Hello. After college, it's off to the shops, which often means a treat for Aisha. Fantastic. Very good. Yes, but I think this one is too short here. Your thumb is going to be showing too much. Hey, would you buy this for me, please? Because <laughs> my dad would buy it. OK, if your dad is going to buy it, yes, then I can't say no. Thank you. OK. Nivena bought it purely and utterly because she knows my dad would have bought it. She knows the way I am with my dad. I really don't think it's right. You just walk into the shop and you see something and 
you buy it. Young people should be taught a lesson about what money is. The pampering isn't the only issue Novena has with the parenting of Aisha. I would accept that um, children will be all right in a gay relationship as long as it is a triangle, so the child sees the biological father or mo mother as well and has a close relationship and they have influence. And she's actually got the best of both worlds because she's <laughs> getting spoiled rotten. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. In the society I grew up, it was certainly unacceptable. People were put in prison uh, because like that, there was no places where gay people w were meet. I actually came out yeah, 2003, um, and it was probably quite a hard experience for me to come out and tell my mother mm -hmm. that I was gay. Um, it was one of the heart, most heart-wrenching things I had ever done. I think I've been quite open to her, and I've laid a lot of my soul on the plate. I feel, you know, obviously that there's maybe something more that she wants to say, but obviously doesn't want to say it. I would be disappointed if any of my children decide uh, or happen to be uh, gay uh, because I believe in traditional values. I want to teach um, my children that family is very important and the traditional family, mum and dad. It's 8 a.m. and Brian's having his usual lie-in. As per Novena's routine, Andy's in charge of 11-year-old Katia. What sort of things would you like to do as a family? Maybe have a day out somewhere. What sort of thing would you do on a day out then? Theme park. OK. So would you go on all the rides then? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it seems that Noveno is a single parent. See you later then. Yeah. Bye. There's no input from the, the father. He's in the house. You know, he could even just pop down and say good morning just to see his daughter off once in a while. With Katia off to school, Andy next tackles 20-year-old Kirill's bedroom. This is what... Catch of course, the toxic waste dump. There is no point at all in waiting for him to do it. Don't feel obliged to do more than you really want to do, because it'll all be wasted. All right. <laughs> God, if this was Aisha's room, then she would be here scrubbing until morning and to get it clean. This is certainly not acceptable by anybody's standards. There's an ashtray here that is a candle come ashtray and I'm just going to put it back because this is totally disgusting and I don't want to really spend any more time in here. I wanted to um, ask you about um, your bedroom, it being a, well, a mess. Surely a, a show of respect for them would mean to keep it as tidy as possible. It's my room so I can pretty much do what I want in my room just like they can in their room. In my house, there isn't many r real rules, really. Um, pretty much, I think the main rule is don't interfere with what anybody else is doing. In Milton Keynes, the laid-back approach is proving less popular with 17-year-old Aisha. I have to be at college in bed. I have to start college at nine. OK, I'll, I'll be ready in five minutes. Okay. I sat there in the dressing can, having a bag, drinking coffee. Nice. Not impressed. I've got to be at college in like 25 minutes. Hey, sir. Obviously, somebody was a bit nervous because we were running late. She's number one responsible for getting uh, on time to school. Having had enough of being Aisha's taxi service, Novena confronts Jason. Uh, I did disagree with how um, Andy would let Aisha walk over him. In what respect? Uh... Um, just obviously she could twist a little finger around certain things. Mm -hmm. um, and to her, she is, a, she is daddy's little princess. Have you uh, expressed voiced your, your opinion to Andy. I don't want to be the big, bad step person, you know, just, you know. It's OK for little girls up to school age to be treated as little princesses, but this crazy driving 
of Asia to school and from school, she should be prepared to take more responsibility for her own life without relying on somebody else. You should kind of rely on public transport. Yeah, and it's, it's so unpredictable because you have to wait in for certain buses and certain buses don't come. Tonight it's all about the adults. Jason and Andy enjoy regular nights out. And for Navenna, that means a trip to the local gay bar. I have never been to one before. In Bulgaria, there were a lot more strict norms about how you behave in public and what signs of affection you show. And uh, sort of, um, if you see a boy and a girl having a proper kiss in the street, like all the old people around will, <laughs> will say, uh, <laughs> Hello. You look very nice. Thank you very much. You and your hair too. looks really good. Mm. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi there. So you've never been into a gay bar before? No, no, I had no reason to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> too much um, sexual closeness in public doesn't appeal to me. Uh, and it doesn't matter what type of, uh, whether it's two, two men or two women. In my relationship with Brian, he's uh, more affectionate. And in the beginning of the relationship, uh, he was getting very frustrated because for him that was a sign that I love him less than he does love me. Does, do you think that uh, Nirvana still finds you attractive? Look, if, if I got a kiss as passionate as what she gives her bloody mother, it would be a start. Right. Uh, I just feel that what on earth is the point in doing anything? Mm. I, just pissing into the wind mm. all the time. Mm. It's a relationship, you know, it's, it should be 50-50, so not being able to communicate it, it is a two-way thing, it's not a one-way thing. I'm sure that the way that I go about it can't be right, but I don't know how to go about it differently. Mm. My relationship with Navenna, uh, I certainly miss having any romance in the relationship. I find it much easier to talk to Andy than I do to talk to Navenna, which really doesn't sound very healthy when I've known one of them for three days and the other for 15 years. Brian and Andy will be spending even more time together today as Navenna's weekends are often spent working away with Brian playing bridge. 20-year-old Kirill is left in charge of 11-year-old Katia. Look after Kirill. <laughs> OK, bye. Bye. You are a spoiled sport. <laughs> I've been called a lot worse, usually by my wife. I've definitely seen a different side to Brian now he's out of his little office and he seems to uh, be able to interact with other people very easily. After about 50 or 60 of these lessons you get used to me. <laughs> nah, you never get used to me really. Brian seems to be focusing all, all his passion into bridge. We left Katja earlier this morning and she'll be left to her own devices. She deserves a lot more parenting time that she's not getting. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, Hi, guys. All right. Hi. How have you been? Great. Yeah? What have you been up to then? Mm, just chilling. Have you missed your daddy, Katja? Yes. Yeah? Okay. A 15 minute sit down with your daughter is not such a, a, a great task to master, is it, really? My time's more important than hers if I'm working. Then do work is more important than your child? No. If I'm actually working, then. It doesn't matter whether it's you or it's Navenna, mm. I'll sit there and think, can you not fucking see that I'm doing something mm. important here? Mm. So if all you've come in for is to talk about something that has no consequence, mm. no urgency about it, why don't you go away and do it later? Was it Brian's um, stuck in his office most of the time? And I'm not for a solitary life, I need interaction. And... I need uh, some, uh, some constant reassurance that that person cares. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't want to. 
I don't want to do this, but it's too, too hot. <laughs> to be honest, I think catch is the more important thing, and I think I'm going to focus on there and get as much enjoyment as I can from that. <laughs> That's going to get me through, I think. <laughs> it's rule change day, and both Andy and Nevena are keen to make their mark in their new home. As you know, I was extremely shocked when I arrived in your family to find it headed by two gay dads. There isn't a traditional wife and mother figure in this house. I'll be taking on all cooking and cleaning to allow you both more freedom. I feel that bridge comes first in your life. When my rules are in place, there'll be no bridge. Number one, there will be bridge. It's my work. I'm not cancelling it. Jason, you need to step as, as a stepfather. I have arranged for you to do a strict dancing class with Aisha to help you connect with her and her age group. <laughs> there are no set times set aside for your shared family fun. I've arranged for us for a family day out at an amusement park. <gasps> Yay! Aisha, you treat your dad as if he was a free taxi service. You are 17 and should no longer be treated like a princess. Under my Yours, you rely on public transport. Oh, sure. You're making me feel like I'm just dependent on my dad and I Calm am my down. own person and I can get around by myself. I don't like your, the tone that you speak to me. Sorry, I have to leave. Aisha. I can't. Aisha. I have arranged for you and Katya to channel your love of play fighting and have booked you in for one to one martial arts course. This is a chance for you to share a new sport and enjoy father and daughter time together. Brian, it's time for you to experience my life. So we're going out on the town to a gay bar. That's the no, problem sorry, with that's the... that's not an option. I'm not... I have too hard a day on Monday. Now I'm just going to ignore most of those rules. I don't believe that I spent too much time on bridge at all. I spend time on work, which happens to be bridge. I really like the rule about about sending me and Daddy to a martial arts class, except Daddy didn't seem to. So I guess that one might not happen because of him. Navenna's keen to introduce more traditional family values, so the equal sharing of domestic chores is banned. Anything I can do to help? No, thank you very much at the moment. Uh... Oh, I need to put that away. Now sit down and relax. The lifestyle uh, Nevena and her husband Brian lead are very traditional husband and wife, which is very opposite to the lifestyle that Andy and myself lead. Our lifestyle is open-minded and forward-thinking, not conventional at all. Cool. Thank you. That was really delicious. Thank, Thank you. you. At the seniors, Brian is also keeping with tradition. Juice. I'm just obviously you, you said that you will wash up and you will do and you will cook. I do what I want. You do what you want, and we'll all live happily ever after. Brian is also struggling with rule change. Instead of cooking, he opts for a takeaway. I'm not ever going to follow somebody else's rules when it's for a short term and those rules are not going to have any longer term impact on my life. Having failed so far to win Brian over, Andy's hoping a family day trip will do the trick. So are you ready to go then, Catcher? Mm -hmm. Okay. The whole family and me is going to an amusement park and we really rarely we have a whole family trip. I can say with some degree of certainty that uh, <clears throat> the trip to the amusement park will be enjoyed by the kids more than by me. Absolutely no interest at all. Not can't even persuade nope. you just for a catcher? Just Not one please, one? No, no, nobody's please, getting please, around please, me with nonsense please, about the catcher. Please. The answer's no. Daddy said he's not going on any rides at all, Mr Grumpy. I've got a book to read, I'll have a drink, I'll eat, I'll uh, hear what catcher has to tell me about how good something was but nobody's going to persuade me to go on any of those oxy rides. There's a big sense of um, separateness in the household. One does one thing and one does another thing. I'm just trying to bring the whole family together and enjoy a mutual um, fun time, really. 
lost him a few times and he looks again as grumpy as ever. I think seeing your child having fun is the best way of having fun yourself. But that was really good. It went really fast and my hair went flying. I'm really enjoying my day with Andy. Hello. <laughs> Brian, are you going to join? <coughs> In Milton Keynes, Novena is having more success with her rules. She swapped Aisha's personal taxi service for a bus pass. Can we have two all-day passes, please? My mum and my dad will be proud, and Jason's obviously proud that I'm doing something by myself rather than having um, a lift or something to someone to fall back on. Thank you, bye. Thank you. I like public transport a bit more, just not as much as I do like travelling in a car. <laughs> Brian may have gone to the amusement park, but he remained unamused. And he's hoping tonight's entertainment might be a little more up Brian's street. <laughs> Obviously, I did plan the night tonight to uh, a local gay bar. I really couldn't make an evening of it no. because uh, it's a very long day tomorrow. Yeah. I can't have a late night and too many drinks. That's why this lady is a trail. She likes to bring fresh wind in her head. I'd like to experience Brian to experience you know, coming out, um, socialising, meeting different people, and being out with his partner. I know I'm not his partner, but for this week I am, and, and this is what I would do normally. So here he is. Have you never been in a gay bar before? No. So I what haven't. did you expect? Well, I wasn't. See then. Yeah. I wasn't sure what to expect. He's quite cute, isn't he? Well, he's not quite <laughs> my type, but. But as long as you've been trying to have the main thing. Oh, absolutely. Look, I've got a very long, hard day tomorrow, so I only agreed to come yeah. for one hour. I don't know what but you're saying. Yeah, I'm going to stay for at least two, I'm sure. Because That's amazing. Good. That is such a compliment. Now, would you want to take the pictures of the peasant lady, which is what you see the lady stitches in the bridges of the water, put the powder on the noses of the faces of the ladies, and the hair on the corner of the ego. Nice! Nice! Ah! 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 and I basically don't go out. Yeah, Andy succeeded in getting me out and having fun. And I have to say, it was absolutely brilliant. Because I've got a long, tiring day tomorrow, I agreed to go for just an hour to sample it. And we ended up staying three. What's it all about? Am I going to watch it? No, you come to join in. I'm going to watch. No, seriously, come to join in. Today, it's Jason's turn to try something new. As part of Novena's rules, he's attending a dance class with Aisha to help them bond. Yeah, I'm going to go back. That's going to go back, aren't you? Yeah, so you just go round, finish. Now, the whole idea with this, obviously, you're trying to look street. Yes, yeah. <laughs> It's how much of a crap did I make myself? You looked great! <laughs> yeah, right. You did! Honestly, you did. You did really well. I was so impressed. I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't think he had it in him. How was it? So good. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I had a good time, but so. One of the things that Naven has done which has impacted our life is actually my relationship with Aisha and made that a lot stronger. And hopefully from that, that's going to grow further. And that will actually make my relationship with Andy stronger as well. At the seniors, Andy's pressing on with his rules. And 20-year-old Kirill must clean his bedroom. I agree with it to the point of the room needed cleaning. I don't agree with the bit where he said where it's disrespectful towards my parents. Definitely passed the test, mate. So passed the test, I should say. Yeah, you've done well. You've done well. Rooms. Despite his success with Kirill, Andy is still struggling with Brian. So you, you're not going to drive her today? 
this morning? Well, I decided that she's going the normal way that she does. So that's the end of it, I'm afraid. I was hoping for a little bit more, that was all. Yeah, well, we often get disappointed by other people. Well, yeah, it seems to be... I'm always disappointed at the moment. But yeah, uh, well... We can't do all the things yeah. that we want to do all of the time. It's nice to do things for other people. Is it? Well, yes. I, I think so. Yeah. Well. One thing I asked of him, being his partner for the week, would be to take um, Katia to school. It's not a reasonable request at all, by any means. It just means getting a bit up a bit earlier and physically walk, taking it either in the car or walking. Um, it's not without the realm's possibility for him to do that. It's an easy task. We just refuse to do it. You went off in the morning um, presuming that I was going to get Kasia off to school. You didn't ask me if I minded. You're here in this family as my wife for a week. No, that was last week. I'm here. No, you're still part of this family. If you don't think that, I think you should leave now. Well, that's not, the, that's not what it's all about, is it, Brian? It's about you being a dad and being here a part of the family. And that's what I want to see. Can you give me a bit of that, please? Is that too much to ask? I don't um, like being treated like I'm six years old, you see. Oh, right. So that tends to make me act as though I'm four years old. All I'm saying is, can you just give me a little bit to show me that you... that you care? Novena's pressing on with her rules, Sometimes working on Jason's parenting. We think, of oh, how could I tell this person uh, something and whatever, and then until you do it, uh -huh. you are scared, and then <laughs> when you do it, it's probably not that scary. No, because I do like, oh, why did you not just, just say? You know? Was, yeah, yeah. And to me, it's, I think the whole experience, as much as I love her, I love having Aisha in the house, it's, it's still a big learning curve for me to actually understand being a parent. Hello? Hello. Will you be able to do the cat litter tray this morning? Mm -hmm. um, needs to be done. I've got to go off to work in a moment, so... Mm -hmm. um. And he's still working on Brian's parenting. He's hoping Katia's passion for karate can bring them closer. Last opportunity for Brian to take part. The suit's here. We're we'll ready to go when you are. No, definitely not. OK, leave you can't... It, leave it to somebody who will enjoy it. OK, you can't defend yourself when I hit you at the mic. I can't defend myself now against your attacks. <laughs> oh, do you remember why you bark, Cassia? It, it's for respect. And then from there, just slowly, as you push this one, pull the reverse one back. And at the end of the punch, twist. Itch, knee, san, chi, san, chi, go, go, chi, chi, punch, itch, knee, knee, san, chi. And by your sides, sit and heels. I think that he didn't join in the karate because one, he had a cold, and two, he's not into that kind of thing. Maybe he'll join in another time, but I doubt it. Certainly watching Andy and Catch together has been a pleasure because. Uh, Obviously, I very much like to see my daughter happy and enjoying herself. Certainly Andy sort of woke me up and made me look again. It's time that we need to make a serious effort. As it's the last day of the swap, Jason's keen to find out if Novena's traditional views have changed. And I hope you've actually learned something from us. One of the things which I learned is um, that um, you can be a good parent. I've come a long way. I think I've come a lot, a lot more in one week than I have actually in eight months with Aisha, which is really great, because it, I think I'll make the dynamics of the house a lot better as well. I look at you and Aisha as persons. OK, thank you. And to your family as just a family. Thank you. When I get home to Brian, I'll be asking for some cuddles and kisses because I've missed him. And uh, although I think I had a nice time with Jason, but we can never get closer to friends. So uh, I suppose I want Brian back. It's the end of the swap, and Andy and Novena are preparing to leave. 
I'm going to miss Katja the most, I think. Um, she's made my stay here um, a very memorable um, experience. Um, she's a very special girl. We do have our differences, but we have something in common. My main concern is um, you know, families bringing up the children, and uh, so is theirs. <laughs> I enjoyed spending a bit more family time. I've enjoyed everything spending time with Andy. Goodbye. Thank Goodbye. you, sir. Thank you. I feel a lot more independent, but I am glad that it's ending because I do miss my dad. Young people uh, should not prematurely be encouraged to think about sex and sex problems before mm. their time. Why would that have been a topic of conversation? Why would it? Why would you think I just that was it would have been? Uh, uh, Andy is, in my view, ideal parent material, and uh, to me, that's all that matters. Aisha is a lovely girl, but so one of my real changes is that she goes on the bus. She's it my little may girl, be, it may and I like to make sure change. she's safe. I'm doing it more for me than her. Yeah. And I know it sometimes can be the wrong thing to do. She should be capable of do doing the bus It's just me. I'm just over overprotective yeah. of my baby. You made me understand Aisha, which obviously has been quite emotional for me because obviously I've got to know Aisha very well, so you've done me a fantastic favour. Naveen has actually made me discover who Aisha is in my life. Um, you know, and actually I'm happy to call her my stepdaughter. I felt so isolated and so alone and I was just a little distraction, a little pest. Oh, that's um, exactly correct. It's so, not an impression. No. Not Catch it, she got me through, sorry. <sighs> she got me thr through. <clears throat> Thanks. We did a lot of good, good, good stuff together. You know, we went to an amusement park, which obviously you, you would know that she would adore that. I have to say that uh, I think we don't do enough things, all four of us together. Right, that's the point, yeah. Katja did say, you know, I, I wish Daddy would have come on some of the rides mm. with me. If you want to do some for Brian and Katja and Kirill, then perhaps you need to discuss with Brian what it is that's going to be done. You're not willing to bend, you're not willing to give. The way you presented the rule changes, had I closed my eyes and listened, I would have had a mental image of a Nazi stormtrooper clicking his jack boots. Right, which is beside the point, but carry it's on. It's not beside the oh, point at all. Oh, it certainly is. Because that's it may be to you, because you don't understand. Oh, I do understand greatly that you're closed and closed I'm not closed. I not don't wanting appreciate to being told what to do. N do you understand? Nobody, of course I understand. I'm not stupid. So why don't you try to relate properly to people and treat them in the way that will actually achieve your goal rather than just right, okay. act the way that suits so you? Let's can I ask you a question, sir? What can you come out of the journey and say that you've achieved? I've learnt a lot from your wife and I hope she can actually teach you the same things that she's taught me, but you actually have to share a lot with each other to actually appreciate each other a lot more. I have not been at all satisfied with the way our relationship is for quite some time, and uh, I feel it's absolutely essential that we manage to talk about it properly and make things better. Something that I hope you've always known, but which has sometimes got lost along the way that I love you and I've always wanted for us to stay together forever, but forever's going to feel like an awful long time if we don't make it a bit better than it is at the moment. So I just want us to work at it a bit. I missed you too. I love you. <laughs> um, yesterday I took a martial arts class. Really? Yeah. You must be more room to more than that. There we go. <laughs> A month on from the swap, and Andy and Jason's relationship is blossoming. Congrats on your civil partnership mm. wedding slash thing. Jason and I have booked our commitment ceremony for um, August. August. And just show the world that show we're the world. committed to each other. 
Um, and that's mainly down to me being away for so long and missing him like mad. What are you going to wear for the wedding, though, are you sure? Like that colour? That. With cream. Uh -huh. It'd look really nice. Since the swap, I see that Jason and Aisha are getting on really well. But I've got a lot better. We, we are able to communicate better with each other. So what time's your bus? And some of Nevena's rules have been beneficial for Aisha. The rules that I've kept from Nevena was the taking the bus one. Because I do take the bus a lot more, like on a Saturday I'll get the bus to work. We can spend time together as well, not having to worry about whether she's going to get her, her own way home or not. And it is giving her more self-independence, that she can do things. I'm feeling now that he's starting to realise that I'm, I'm not a... Yeah, I'm still his little girl, but I'm not a little girl anymore, and I am growing up. Catch your purse. Yes? Do you want to come and do some baking? Yeah. Of the seniors, Brian and Katia are spending more time together. My daddy let me cook dessert with him quite a bit. I've never done it, anything like that with him before. Well, it's definitely coming along very nicely. We make delicious things. Um, we're going to bake some cookies today. It makes me feel really happy. It's nice to find uh, something that Katya and I can do together, which is interesting for both of us. And Brian and Nevena are making time for romance. One weekend in September, where, as far as I can see, there is no bridge. So we may have to... That's weekend? We yeah. may have to book in this weekend in September, <laughs> quickly, before somebody finds a bridge event. Which, actually, I have the feeling that it's my birthday as well. Well, there you are.